Good morning children. Let's proceed with the next topic in the lesson trigonometry. The heading is trigonometric ratios of complementary angles. Just recollect the definition of complementary angles. If the sum of two angles is 90 degree then they are complementary angles or a pair of angles are said to be complementary if their sum is 90 degree. What is the relevance of this complementary angles in the lesson trigonometry is listen here. Triangle ABC is right angle that B. That means if angle B is 90 degree, what is the sum of angle A and angle C? Angle A and angle C will add up to 90 degree by angle sum property of triangle. So can we say that angle A and angle C are complementary angles? Yes, they are a pair of complementary angles because their sum is 90 degree. So by definition, if angle A plus angle C is 90 degree, angle A is the same as 90 minus angle C or angle C is the same as 90 minus angle A. You can see the application of this complementary angles and how are the trigonometric ratios of complementary angles related to each other or what trigonometric ratios are equal to each other in case of complementary angles. Let's take the same triangle of triangle ABC, right angle that B. For angle A, let's write all the six trigonometric ratios. That means sin A is the same as opposite by hypotenuse. Cos A is the same as adjacent by hypotenuse. And tan A is opposite by adjacent. And the reciprocals of sin is cos K is the same as AC by BC. Then sec A is the same as AC by AB. And cot A is the same as AB by BC. Now, let's derive the trigonometric ratios of C. But let's call C as 90 minus A. So, let us call it as 90 minus A or sin 90 minus angle A. Sin 90 minus angle A. That means we are calling angle C as 90 minus A. Sin 90 minus A is opposite by hypotenuse. Then cos 90 minus A is the same as adjacent by hypotenuse. Tan 90 minus A is equal to opposite by adjacent. The reciprocals then sine it is cosec 90 minus a is the same as cosec 90 minus a is the same as ac by ab sec 90 minus a is the same as ac by bc and cot 90 minus a is the same as bc by ab since the three sides are AB, BC and AC, definitely the ratios of both angles will be related or some ratios from here are exactly equal to the sum ratios in this particular angle. Let's see how the relation is. Sine angle A is BC by AC. You can see here BC by AC. That means sin A and cos 90 minus A are equal. That means 
sin a and cos 90 minus a are equal. Similarly, cos a and ratios a b by a c sin 90 minus a are equal. That means cos a is equal to sin 90 minus a. So what are complementary ratios? That means sin a will be complementary to cos or the value of sin a and cos 90 minus a will be equal. Similarly, cos a and sin 90 minus a will be equal. What are the next pair of complementary angles? Let's see the trigonometric ratios which are equal. Tan a is BC by AB. You can check cot 90 minus A as BC by AB, BC by AB. That means tan A is the same as cot 90 minus A. Just opposite you can see that. Cot A is the same as tan 90 minus A. You can refer here. Cot A is AB by BC and tan 90 minus A is also AB by BC. That means the next set of complementary ratios are tan of an angle and cot of 90 minus A. Or you can say that the first pair, the sine and cos are complementary. Tan of an angle and cot of 90 minus a is complementary. So automatically the third pair will be sec and cosec. Sec a is c by a b, cosec 90 minus a is c by a b. Similarly, cosec a is c by b c, sec 90 minus a is a c by b c. That is, sec a is the same as cosec. 90 minus a or cosec a is the same as sec 90 minus a. That means you have to just understand which are the trigonometric ratios which are complementary. Let's make the idea clear by taking the values of sine 30 degree, cos 30 degree, tan 30 degree and so on. Let's rewrite the table as sin 30 value is half, cos 30 is root 3 by 2, tan 30 is 1 by root 3, reciprocal, reciprocal of sin is cosec 30 is 2 by 1, sec 30 is 2 by root 3 and cot 30 is root 3. Now, what is the complementary angle of 30 degree is 90 minus 30 or it is very well the same as 60 degree. Let's write the ratios of 60 degree. Sin 60 root 3 by 2. Cos 60 1 by 2. Tan 60 root 3. Reciprocals. Reciprocal of sin is cosec 60 is 2 by root 3. C 60 is 2 by 1 and cot 60 is equal to 1 by root 3. Let's see whether the ratios of sine and cos are complementary. C and cos are complementary and tan and cot are complementary. Just see the values of sine 30 and cos 60. Same time cos 30 and sine 60. You can see here sin 30 is equal to cos 60 is equal to half and cos 30 is equal to sin 60 is equal to root 3 by 2. The first pair of complementary angles. Similarly, what is the second pair is tan 30 and cot 60. You see here tan 30 and cos 60, then cot 30 and tan 60. That means tan and cot are complementary which shows that tan 30 
is equal to cot 60 is equal to 1 by root 3. Similarly, cot 30 is equal to tan 60 is equal to root 3, the second pair of complementary angles. And what are the third pair of complementary angles? Once you see, it is cosec 30 and sec 60 and sec 30 and cosec 60. That means cosec 30 is equal to sec 60 is equal to 2 and the next value is sec 30 is equal to cosec 60 is equal to 2 by root 3. You need not by heart the values you should know that the sine ratio and cos ratio or cos and sine are complementary sec and cosec and vice versa cosec and sec are complementary tan and cot cot and tan are complementary these application you can see in the next exercise and it's a very scoring as well as an easy exercise let's move on to exercise 8.3 which related to this particular topic that is the complementary ratios how do you identify that this particular question belongs to this particular topic is when you see the angles here evaluate sine 18 degree by cos 72 degree tan 26 degree by cot 64 degree cos 48 minus sine 42 when you see such angles other than 30 degree, 60 degree, 45 degree, 0 degree and 90 degree, you will very well definitely know that it belongs to this exercise as you are not very specific on the values. Thus, the how to work out the problem is change only one of the trigonometric ratios. Don't change both of them. And most of the problems in this exercise will take an answer of either one or zero. Now, how to convert? The question is evaluate. That means you should get a specific answer. So, according to the complementary ratios, sine ratio and cos ratios are complementary. Cos and sine, that means both of them can be changed into the ratio as per your requirement. As I told you, sine 18 by cos 72 change only one of the ratio either sin 18 or cos 72 you can change how to change is whenever sine ratio is changing it will go into the complementary of cos at the same time 18 cannot be retained as 18 it will be 90 minus 18 divided by cos 72 will remain as such that is why I am writing with the same ink which shows that cos you need not calculate because it's already understood as which is the same as cos 72 by cos 72 which is equal to 1. That means they get cancelled. So one of the ratio only should be changed. Similarly, if you want to change cos 72, sin 18 retain as such. Cos will be changed into sin 72 will be changed as 90 minus 72. So the answer will be same. Sin 18 by sin 18 it will turn into 1. Similarly, tan 26 by cot 64. Let's change cot 64 with a different example. Tan 26 let it be retained as such. Cot 64 can be changed into cot will take the ratio of tan and 64 cannot be written the same way it should be written as 90 minus 64 which is the same as tan 26 divided by 90 minus 64 is again 26 tan 26 which is the same as 1. Similarly cos 48 only one of them as cos ratio will become sine immediately 48 will be changed as 90 minus 48 minus sine 42 will be as such change only one of the ratio or sine 42 minus sine 42 which is giving you 0. Sine 42 
minus sin 42 is giving you 0. Similarly, cosec 31 change it into sec 90 minus 31 minus sec 59 will be as such then 90 minus 31 is sec 59 minus sec 59 which is equal to 0. And now the question show that tan 48, tan 23, tan 42, tan 67 is equal to 1. The invisible sign is multiplication. That is show that tan 48 into tan 23 into tan 42 into tan 67 is equal to 1. The first step in this particular question as I have mentioned here it's a very important question. The first concept is bring the ratios whose total is 90 degree. That is 48 plus 42 is giving you 90. At the same time 23 and 67 is giving you a total of 90. So the first step is tan 48 into tan 42 just you are rearranging the terms into tan 23 into tan 67 the LHS of the question as we were doing here change only one of the ratios either tan 48 or tan 52 out of these two you can change one of them and out of these two, you can change one of them. That means, let's change tan 48 as the complementary ratio of tan is cot. Cot 48 should be changed as 90 minus 48 into tan 42 will be retained as such into. Change tan 23 as cot 90 minus 23 into tan 67 retain as such. That is the second step. And the answer you can write it as cot 42 tan 42 into cot 67 and tan 67. Because 90 minus 48 is 42, 90 minus 23 is 67. Now, how are the ratios tan and cot are related? They are reciprocals. So immediately you can write cot 42 as 1 by tan 42 into tan 42 will be remaining as such into. Cot 67 is the reciprocal 1 by tan 67 into tan 67 which shows that tan 42 and tan 42 gets cancelled tan 67 and gets cancelled and the final answer is 1. So this is a very very important question in this particular exercise. The next question cos 38 cos 52 minus sin 38 sin 52. Since multiplication is commutative and you know that the answer has to be a 0 even if you change both in the first one it is going to give you the answer 0 as cos 38 will be changed as sin 90 minus 38. Cos 52 will be written as sin 90 minus 52 minus the second combination let it be as such. Or you can change cos 38 from here and sin 38 from here. That way also the answer will prove as 0. Then next is sin 90 minus 38 is 52 and sin 90 minus 52 is 38 minus sin 38 sin 52. Since multiplication is commutative, the answer is a 0. I hope it's very clear to you now. Let's proceed with the next set of questions. The next set of important as well as easy questions. It's very, very important. Two mark questions. It's very simple using this complementary ratio. If tan 2a is equal to cot 8 minus 18, 
same way. If tan A is equal to cot B, CK 4A is equal to cosec A minus 20. You can see that the question is drafted in such a way that they are complementary ratios. As I am saying always, change only one of the trigonometric ratio. So tan 2A is the same as cot A minus 18. Let's change tan into its complementary. Tan ratio will change into cot ratio. At the same time, 2A will be changed as 90 minus 2A and the right side remains the same. Now, cot 90 minus 2A is the same as cot A minus 18 which shows that the angles are equal. You can equate the angles. That means 90 minus 2A is equal to a minus 18, the angles you are equating, then minus 2a minus a is equal to minus 18 minus 90 or minus 3a is equal to minus 108, angle a is equal to 108 by 3 which is equal to 3 3 is 9, 36 degree. Similarly, let us prove the fifth one. Change seek 4a as cosec 90 minus 4a and leave cosec a minus 20 as such. Which shows that cosec 90 minus 4a is the same as cosec a minus 20. Shows that the angles are equal a minus 20 and you can get the value of angle a. 90 plus 20 is equal to A plus 4A. 5A is equal to 110 or angle A is equal to 110 by 5 that is by 22 degree. 22 degree. A similar question if tan A is equal to cot B prove that angle A plus angle B is equal to 90 degree. Change one of them tan has to be changed into cot 90 minus a is equal to cot b will remain as such you will compare only the angles which shows that 90 minus a is equal to b or angle a plus angle b is equal to 90 degree so these are these are possible two mark question now, sixth question, if A, B, C are interior angles of a triangle A, B, C, show that sine of B plus C by 2 is equal to cos A by 2. The question clearly says that angle A, angle B and angle C are interior angles of triangle A, B, C, which shows that you have to apply angles and property of triangle in the first step. Let's apply angles and property the answer. Angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degree. Angle sum property. And now just follow the left side of the question. That means follow the LHS as per the requirement of the question. The question needs B plus C by 2. Let's go in step. That means Angle B plus angle C is 180 minus angle A. And angle B plus angle C by 2 means half of B plus C. That means half of angle B plus angle C is equal to half of 180 minus A. As per the question requirement we are proceeding. That is angle B plus angle C by 2 is equal to half into 180 is 90. Half into A is half angle A. The question needs the ratio of sine on the left side. That doesn't mean that sine on one side and cos on the other side. You are going to take sine ratio on both the sides. That means sine of angle B plus C by 2 is equal to sine of 90 minus half A. And now the left side of the question is the same as in the question when 
sine of 90 minus half a. What is the complement of sine ratio is cos. 90 minus half a means it is the complement of b plus c by 2. That means sine ratio will change into cos. 90 minus half a will become simply half a or a by 2. That is sine and cos are complementary ratio or sine, sine 90 minus half a is cos half a or it is the same as cos angle a by 2. The last question is express sine 67 and cos 75 both in terms of angle less than 45 degree means 67 is an angle more than 45 degree, 75 is an angle more than 45 degree. We have to bring it below 45 means change both the trigonometric ratios. That means sine 67 will become cos 90 minus 67 plus cos 75 is 90 minus sine 90 minus 75 or cos 7 to get 3 or 23 plus sine 15. The answer is cos 23 plus sine 15. Now see. 23 degree is an angle below 45, 15 degree is an angle below 45 degree. Only in this question we are changing both the ratios as per the question.